Hello everyone, welcome to tonight's HKM presentation of the Hopkins and Hillers boys varsity basketball team. I am junior Evan Sasitsky alongside his junior Will Puella. Will, how you doing? Great, how are you Evan? Doing great, Will. Excited for the matchup tonight against Bellingham. Should be a good game. Good evening. Down to public interest announcer Chip Collins. Town Hoppington Hiller. The Tri Valley is committed to the highest ideals of sportsmanship and establishing a healthy environment for interscholastic competition. The league will not tolerate negative statements or actions directed towards competitors, game officials, and fans in attendance. Such actions include taunting, trash talking, and berating of players or officials. Please respect all decisions made by officials. Please respect coaches, participants, and opponents alike. Thank you for help helping to create a positive, respectful, and fun environment here at Hopkinton High School. And now for the lineups for the Bla Bellingham Blackhawks. Forward, number four, junior, Michael Riesfelder. Guard, number five, junior, Corey Giappone. Guard, number 50, junior, Philip Jones. Guard, number 25, senior, John LaRose. Forward, number 31, senior, Josh Jones. The coaches for the Blackhawks are of T.J. Ciappone, Rich Blue, Alan DiGianos, Brock Allens, and Kevin Grappone. And now for your hometown Hobbiton Hillers, guard number 10, sophomore Tommy Ambersoni. Guard number 21, junior Michael Puvakaku. Guard, number 32, Junior Ben McKenzie. Forward, number 32, Senior Captain Tommy Ladoni. Forward, number 35, Senior Captain Zach Sasiski. The manager for the Hillers is the Hutch. The Hillers are coached by Tom Keen, Chris Banks, Jay Golden, and Mark Sanborn. And now, will you all please rise as we celebrate the playing of our national anthem by our very own pep band. Here we go, folks. Interesting take on the starting lineup here tonight, Will. Michael Puvacod making it into the lineup after coming back from a bad ankle sprain. He jumped right back into the action, Will. Um, Good came to see up, him healthy. Yeah, it really is. He came up clutch in the last game, hitting three three-pointers. Big time shots for the Hillers. Let's see if he can do the same thing here tonight. And as our starters take the floor, Tommy Leone starting. Great to have him back. Zach Sasitsky taking the jump for the Hillers. Normally that's a job done by Brendan Kelly. He has been out sick last week. Probably the reason why he isn't starting tonight. And here's Sasitsky. Bellingham gets the tip and they will bring the ball up the court. Tommy Ambersoni defending the ball. Pass over to number 25, LaRose. Back to number five, Bellingham guard. Drives over to the, into the post, back out. Three-pointer, no good. Ben McKenzie rips the rebound down. Nice strong rebound by McKenzie. McKenzie, a strong kid, Poove. 
Swings to McKenzie, McKenzie to Ambersoni. Ambersoni looks for the drive, nothing. To Sosicki in the corner, Sosicki brings it up, passes to McKenzie, McKenzie drives. Little bounce pass to Pubicod, out to Sosicki. Drives, nothing to McKenzie, McKenzie baseline, pass to Tommy, no good. Ben McKenzie trying to throw that down to Tommy Leone, just a little bit outside, and the ball goes out of bounds. Reisfelder inbounds the ball for Bellingham to LaRose. Back to Reisfelder. Over to number 15 for Bellingham. Gets double teamed. Runs into Ambersoni. No call there. And a travel is called on number 25, John LaRose for Bellingham. That's the first Bellingham turnover. Ben McKenzie will inbound the ball. To Tommy Ambersoni bringing it up against LaRose. He's going to try and break him down, has nothing. To McKenzie, McKenzie drives out to Ambersoni. Little jab step, nothing there. Still trying to work it over to Sosicki. Sosicki, nothing there to Ambersoni. Ambersoni takes it in to Pubicod. He wants the shot and he will take it. No good, near miss for Pubicod. Nice pass there by Ambersoni. It was, Ambersoni comes up with a block. And that's out of bounds as he was trying to recover the block. Great defense by Andersoni. Bit of a cluster down there, but it will be Bellingham ball underneath. 15 Jones inbounds out top. Swing to Reisfelder to LaRose in the corner, defended by Sosicki. Swings it back to Reisfelder out to number five, Chaponi. Chaponi sizing him up. Over to the wing, back to the middle. Tries to drive, nothing to LaRose. Short corner, nothing in the post. The shot's up by Reisfelder, it's good. First two points are on the board for Bellingham. Let's see what the Hiller, Ambersoni drives middle, passes to Leone, who can't handle the pass. That's gonna be a turnover for the Hillers. Reisfelder inbounding, Hillers up in their press. Inbounded to Chaponi, back to Reisfelder. And right, Chaponi's got it. They're down, a pass middle, and no one's back. And he makes the layup. Nice the Rose puts there. it in. Good ball movement, yes, Will. Good ball movement by Bellingham. Amber Sony brings it up the floor, a little cross, gets him off his feet. McKenzie drives, a crossover, loses his handle. Amber Sony drives it to Sosicki in the corner for three. No good. Rebounded by the Blackhawks, and they're going to push. Oh, Reisfelder almost loses it there. Good defense by Pubicod. Up to Chaponi. Reisfelder has it. Good defense by Michael Pubicod. Great defense by the Hillers there. Let's see if they can keep it going and get a stop here. Brendan Kelly looks to be checking into the game soon. Brendan Kelly, a huge asset for the Hillers. That's one kid who just keeps getting stronger and stronger. And the Hillers can't seem to grab a rebound here. As the Blackhawks to Reisfelder down the middle, they call a foul. I believe it was on Sisitsky or Ambersoni. That will be on Sisitsky, his first of the game. 5.09 here in the first, 4 nothing Blackhawks. First free throw is up and it's good. Make that five. Second free throw coming in for Reisfelder. It is up and it is no good. Ben McKenzie grabs the rebound, swing, pushes it to Sosicki who slows things down. Over to Jack Breslin who came into the game and takes a three pointer. Nice Puts roll. some English on it and it falls in. Jack Breslin, a great player coming over from St. John. Sosicki, the great defense by Sosicki in transition. Forces a turnover. Followed up that by that good pass. Makes a good defensive play. That's right. Jack Breslin putting Hopkinton's first three points on the game, as I was saying. And there he is with the ball again, swinging to Sosicki. Staying up top, down to Kelly to a little handoff to, oh, great pass by Breslin. And Brendan Kelly gets the finish. Another great play by Jack Breslin. Bellingham trying to move it up the floor. Jack's gonna get back. Jack Breslin almost saves it. Got the tip there. Great read by Jack Breslin. It's gonna be Bellingham ball underneath. 
Um, well, Jack Breslin's came in this game and has had an immediate impact. Yeah, good minutes off the bench. John LaRose flashing, no good. Pass comes up top in the corner. Bellingham's got nothing. Tom Ambersoni guarding the ball up top, goes to the high post, down to the short corner. That's gonna be a shot up and good. Number 31, Josh Jones. Tough shot there by Jones. Ambersoni pushing. Crosses over to Jack Breslin, has nothing. And a foul called. On the floor, reach in foul. On Chipone. That's Bellingham's first. Ben McKenzie inbounding to the side. And throws it in, but it's intercepted by John LaRose, and he's fouled almost immediately. That's going to be on the floor on Ambersoni. And Luke DeLoya checks into the game. Luke DeLoya has had a great defensive presence for the Hillers. Uh, one of the biggest hustle players I've ever seen. Very athletic kid. And the, you see him there, face guarding his man, not even letting him sniff the ball. John LaRose, the corner, shots up. It's good. For Bellingham, makes it 10-5. Amersoni brings the ball up. Drew Rankatori into the game. He was out last week with an ankle injury, but he's back now. Another sophomore to Brendan Kelly on the wing. Brendan Kelly looks. Jack Breslin, mid-range jumper, no good. Looks like that one might have slipped a little bit. Jack missed that one, but I'll tell you, mid-range is his game. Hiller's here pressing now. Goes to the middle to Ray. And Jones has it, swings it over on the wing. Now it's up top, brought back to the wing. There's Reisfelder with it. Jones has it up top. The Rose has it on the wing. He's going to drive, kick to the Reisfelder. He's going to shoot the three. No good. Rebounded by the Blackhawks, and Amber Sony fought for it. It's going to be a jump ball. Should be Hiller's ball. Nice defensive play there by Amber Sony. Always is. Very, very good hustle player. Um, Hiller's having some trouble with rebounding tonight. Blackhawks are a very aggressive team. Drew Rankatori's got it in the wing to Deloya. Deloya's going to drive it, pass to Brendan Kelly. He's going to put it up, and no good for the Hillers. Having trouble putting the ball in the hoop here er, early on in the game. Swings to Reisfelder up top. Reisfelder back to Jones. Jones looking for something, has nothing. Good defense by Deloya. Jack Breslin helping out. Ambersoni guarding his man up top. His man drives and nothing, but they call the travel. Great defense by Ambersoni. Another great defensive play there by Ambersoni. He's making it happen tonight, Will. He's making it happen. Deloya inbounds to Ambersoni, who will take the ball up the floor, guarded by LaRose, senior at Bellingham. Ambersoni picks it up. He has nothing. Jack Breslin comes up to help. Kicks it to Deloya, who will bring it around. Deloya puts the moves on to the rack. Pass to Brendan Kelly, and it's in. Nice speed by Deloya there. Beautiful play, Will, by Deloya there. Oh, bobbles it off his foot. Ambersoni goes for it. Comes up short. Brendan Kelly taking help and throws it. The Rose threw it off Kelly's foot, it looked like there. It's going to be Blackhawks ball underneath. Sisitsky coming back in. Mafiori seeing his first minutes in the, in the game tonight. And McKenzie also back in the game. Tony has it in the corner, swings it out. Swings again to Jones on the opposite wing. Jones looking for it. Gives it, uh, Ryan Kessler looks like he's coming in the game soon. Reisfelder to Jones in the corner. Puts the moves on. Pull up jumper. And it's good for two. With a minute and 25 seconds left here. Oh, Ben, ben McKenzie. Nice catch there by Brendan Kelly. 
Oh, nice pass. Brendan Kelly and one. Nice finish. Great finish by Brendan. He was a brick wall down there in the post. Saves the ball from going out, out of bounds and then makes a great offensive play. That's right. Number Now we have 12 to 9. Let's see if Brendan can make it 12-10 with a minute 18 here to go as he shoots one free throw. And it's up and it's down. Brendan Kelly got it. 12-10. Hiller's trail by two. Brendan Kelly wanted that one. Didn't want to pick up a foul. Ryan Kester defending Jones. Playing great defense. Jones on the ground. Getting doubled and Jones in the corner. He's out of bounds. Great defense by the Hellers. Turnover by the Blackhawks. Jones slipped up there. Caught the ball in the corner as he, uh, his teammate was getting doubled by Ryan Kester and Steven Mafiori. Put on a great double there. And um, got caught out of bounds. Ben McKenzie kicks to Mafiori. Mafiori looking down. Kicks it out to Brendan Kelly. To Kester in the corner. He's going to shoot a three ball. No good. Just a little bit short by Ryan Kester. As the Blackhawks push to the corner to Reisfelder. He's got nothing. Kicks it out to Jones. Jones down to Chaponi. who takes it in. Blocked oh. by Ben McKenzie. And he saves it. Great play by McKenzie. Here comes Kester down the court. He's going to slow it down over to McKenzie, who drives it in. Oh, no call there as McKenzie drove it in. Oh, oh. Kester attempts to take a, take a charge, throws the defense off. Sasitsky brings it up the floor with about 10 seconds left. Kester shoots a three. And it's good. good. The Hillers take the lead. 13-12, 8.3 seconds left to go in the quarter. After a slow start, the Hillers have picked it up. Yes, the Hillers really going off their defense. Blocks by Ben McKenzie and Tom Ambersoni. Great on-ball defense by Tom Ambersoni, as well as Ryan Kester and Luke DeLoya. The Hiller band getting a little action in tonight. Love the sound of that, don't you, Will? Love it. Smooth jazz. Smooth jazz. Just gets the crowd going. It does, it really does. And there we are, up in the crow's nest, having a blast. Let's see if the Hillers can ride on this momentum. They came out with a little low sense of urgency. And there you see the JV team just picked up a nice big win. Great performances from Brian Keefe. He a, f um, a freshman, a true up-and-comer in the world of Hillers basketball. And the Hillers take the floor with 8.3 to go. They're preventing the Blackhawks from getting the final shot here in the first. Inbounded to Jones. Jones looks, defended by McKenzie. McKenzie guards Jones all the way to the basket. No good, throws up an air ball. And that's the end of the first, folks. Good defense there by McKenzie. To Great the defense. Quarter. Forced Jones to huck up a wild shot there. And on come the Hillers cheerleaders. Da -da -da -da. Take a sip of water here. Ladies and gentlemen, your Hillers cheerleaders. Brendan Kelly having a great game so far offensively, getting great passes from his teammates. Uh, Zach Sasitsky uh, is playing pretty well defensively, hasn't done much offensively. His mom is homesick tonight. That may be throwing him off. She usually comes to every game to support him. Big shout out to his mom, hoping she feels better. Brendan Kelly made a miraculous recovery from his sickness. Hoping the same for her. Hillers taking the floor. This same lineup will be starting the second quarter. Kester, Mafiori, Sasitsky, Kelly, and uh, McKenzie. Jones dribbles it down.
A foul called on the floor. That would be number 31, Josh Jones, who is fouled. On the floor it will be Blackhawks ball underneath. Foul number one by Brennan Kelly. Inbound goes to Josh Jones in the corner, swings it out to LaRose. LaRose to Chaponi over to Phillip Jones. And to LaRose wants a shot, doesn't get it. Ricefield short. Oh, Kester can't grab, grab that rebound. Reached for it, but couldn't grab it. Phillip Jones came in and stole it from him. LaRose swings to Chaponi, puts up a three ball, no good. Josh Jones with the rebound, kicks it to Phillip Jones, who hits the three. And again, the Hellers are having some trouble rebounding. Ben McKenzie brings up the ball, puts on the moves to Mafiori in the corner. Mafiori drives. A foul called on the floor on Chaponi. Great drive. And McKenzie and Kelly come out of the game as Tommy Leone and Tommy Emersoni enter the game. Sositsky inbounding underneath. Screens come up. And the turnover for the Hillers. Not sure what happened there. It looked like Sasitsky threw it off the defend the Bellingham defender's foot, but apparently he did not. A rose. A foul called on Hopkinton. Must have been on Ambersoni. Nope, on Tommy. Uh, yes, on Emersoni. As LaRose is dribbling up the floor there. Inbounded to LaRose. LaRose looks, drives. Kicks to Phillip Jones in the corner. LaRose stuck in the corner. Kessler gets back there. Good heads up defense by the Hillers. Mafiori, double down low. Kessler steps up. Great defense by Ryan Kessler but they can't come up with a rebound. Another missed rebound. And the Hillers are having a lots of trouble rebounding tonight, Will. Yeah, playing good defense, just can't grab any rebounds. And these rebounds are leading to more buckets and more chances for the Blackhawks. As Josh Jones just came up with two rebounds and an and one. Coach Keen trying to hype the team up, trying to get him some urgency as Jones Misses his free throw, rebounded by McKenzie. McKenzie's going to bring it up. He's going to drive, and it's stripped. Sasitsky getting back. Great transition. No, uh, doesn't make that one. Reisfelder, a short jumper in the Hellers defense. And Coach Keen is going to call a timeout. The Blackhawks are just on a tear right now. And the Hillers defense is not looking so good. 6.23 left in the second. 19-13 Blackhawks. Hillers are at six fouls. Blackhawks are at four. And that's going to have to be due to the lack of rebounding. This is definitely a team well that I think the Hillers can beat here tonight. If they play the way they know how. Yep, just need to come down with more rebounds. Playing good defense, just grab them. That's right, Will, and going back to the Hillard man. Conducted by Ben Wheeler. Great kid, Ben Wheeler is. A little hop in his step there. I could watch that for hours, Will. I could watch the Hillard man for hours. And now, Will, Hillers will take the floor back to the game. The game of basketball. Ben McKenzie's going to take it up. The Ryan Kester by his side. Swings to Sasitsky. Sasitsky to Kester. Three-pointer short. Mafiori goes for it. Doesn't get it, but Kester gets it to Tom Leone in the corner. Tom Leone! A bank shot from the corner. Nice rebound by Kester there. And they go long. Kessler can't get it. LaRose comes up with it. Nothing. So Reisfelder uses the screen to pull up jumper. No good. Rebounded by Ben McKenzie. Big rebound there. Nice box out by Mafiori. It was. And McKenzie to 
Zach Sasitsky drives baseline, puts it in. Uh, Whatever Coach Keen said in the huddle is definitely working. Uh, yes, it is. That might have been Tommy Leone. I couldn't tell. Two senior captains. Tommy Leone, great defense. Great defense by Tommy Leone, senior captain. Swings it up to McKenzie. McKenzie drives. And one for McKenzie. Ben McKenzie, such an athletic kid. And just like that, the Hillers are back in this game. Great two-sport athlete, baseball and basketball. A lot of two-sport athletes. Speaking of two-sport athletes, Michael Ionelli, another senior leader on this team, coming, seeing his first minutes in the game tonight. Michael Ionelli is such a hustle player. He had a wonderful season for football. Sasitsky tried to get that rebound, but couldn't get it. Jones bringing it up. Screen, Jones and Jones. Swings to Jones. Jones, a three-pointer. He gets it. Nelly inbounds to Kessler. Back to Michael. Michael's going for it. Kicks to Brendan Kelly. Great pass. Brendan Kelly almost got the finish, but he was fouled, and he'll be shooting too. Great find there by Michael and Nelly. Brendan Kelly had a tough angle on that. Had to look up and throw it behind his head. Did it under control. Couldn't get the finish, but he got the foul. Let's see what he can do at the free throw line here for the Hillers. We are at five minutes flat here in the second quarter. And Brendan Kelly makes the first. And was some confusion with the scoreboard. The uh, 22-21 is the score. Denise and Tacky, our graphics operator, had the score right, but changed it based on what was on the board. Now we do have our legitimate score here of 22-21. Hillers down by one. And any chance they get well, the Hillers band takes over. Yep. A little bit of pipe music here. And Brendan Kelly's coming back to the line for his second shot. Trying to ice Brendan Kelly, perhaps. Bellingham is. Let's see if he can shake it off and hit the free throw. I believe in him. Do you, Will? Of course. And our belief was false. Brendan can't make that one. We jinxed him. We did. That's our bad. Sorry about that one, Brendan. But there he is on defense, and he causes a turnover. Welcome back, Brendan Kelly. Jack Breslin checking in for Ryan Kessler. Sasitsky inbounds to McKenzie. Brings the ball up the floor. McKenzie drives it. Nothing out to Breslin. Breslin drives middle. Out to Michael Ionelli. A little floater pull up. It's good. Michael's got his first points and he's got the lead for the Hillers. Breslin taking, him, taking advantage of his minutes here. Yes, he is. Breslin making immediate impacts when he comes in the game. To LaRose. LaRose puts on an up fake. A foul called. And that one's going to be on... Breslin. Breslin, yes. Wasn't sure if he's on Breslin or McKenzie, Will. But you had that one right. And now the Blackhawks will be in the bonus, shooting one and one on every foul on the floor this half. A Rose misses it. Ball is live. And Jack Breslin comes down with the rebound and pushes the floor. Got nothing up top. Swings it to Michael Ionelli. 
Frank Lionelli to McKenzie. McKenzie drives down, swings to Breslin. Breslin the three ball, no good. Zach Sosicki almost grabbed that rebound, but it looked like Bellingham tipped it, and it will be Heller's ball underneath. Great hustle play by Sosicki. And Ben McKenzie's taking the ball in. Out to Breslin up top. Breslin shaking his defender with the jab step. Michael Ionelli has it up top now. Swings to McKenzie. McKenzie back to Ionelli. Over to Breslin. Breslin into Brendan Kelly. Brendan Kelly puts it up for two. No good. And the Hillers can't grab that one. Sosicki and Kelly both fighting for it. But Josh Jones came up with it as Philip Jones pulls up on the other end. Michael Ionelli pulls down the rebound. And Ben McKenzie. Rebound by Ionelli. And yes, it was. The Hellers are going to need a lot more strong rebounds this game. If they want to take advantage and take the lead. And Ben McKenzie looked like he was fouled shooting, but I believe it was called on the floor. As Michael Puvikot comes back in for Sasitsky. Puvikot inbounds. The Hellers got it underneath. Looks out to Ionelli to the corner to Breslin. Breslin can't get it. Nice but rebound. But Brendan there by Kelly, Kelly takes it back and puts it up for two. Brendan Kelly increases the lead by three points for the Hillers. Uh, Jack Breslin taking lots of open and good shots tonight, but they are just not falling for him. And Michael Puvikod tried to go for that one, couldn't get it. Reisfelder turns around and nails the shot. Pass to McKenzie. McKenzie trying to do something with it. Over to Ionelli in the Puvikad, out to Breslin, wants another one, doesn't take it. Swings to McKenzie for the three, no good. Brendan Kelly tried to rip that one out of Jones's hands. Nice ball moving there by the Hillers, just could not fall. And there we go on the other end. Jack Breslin with great on-ball defense. And Reisfelder gets called for a carry. Another turnover for the Blackhawks. Hillers ball coming down. The Hillers high in intensity defense is really putting a strain on these Bellingham. That's right. Ben McKenzie drives out to Breslin. Breslin drives out to Michael Ionelli who drives and there's the lane. He gets it. Another two for Ionelli. And some Hillers alumni walking into the game. See them on screen a little bit. Philip Jones brings up the ball. Philip Jones has it on in the middle. Kicks to the Rose on the far wing. Jones has it up top. Jacob Bassett tries to drive it in and there's gonna be another foul called on the Hillers. Two fourteen left here in the half. And Mac Lind coming in along with Drew Rancatori, Brendan Kelly. Coming out along with Jack Breslin. Jacob Bassett, Jr., shooting his first free throw. Gets his first point of the game. He's going to have another one coming for him. Second free throw is on the way. And it's going to be short. Ben McKenzie comes up with the board. He's going to take his man down court and fights through the defense. To Puvikad, down to Mac Lynn who finishes. Nice feed there by Puvikad. Nice feed, great way, uh, great movement by the Hillers there. Able to see, able to notice the double team and move the ball accordingly. Great defense by Mac Lynn to the corner. Three point shots, way long, that's an air ball. For number 10, Justin Creighton. Ben McKenzie, beautiful take, can't get it to go. Mac Lynn tried to get that rebound, couldn't. Great defense by Michael Ionelli. Another great defender for the Hillers. Zach Sasitsky getting ready to check in. Great defense by Mac Lind. John LaRose wants a three. Drew Rancatori jumps for it. And another travel called on LaRose. Great I believe there by play by Drew Rancatori. Yes, it was, and I believe that's LaRose's third travel of the night, Will. Can't get himself under control. Hillers are locking him down. 
That's right. Poove swings to Drew Rankatori, swings it to Macklin. Macklin to Puvacad in the corner, three pointer. Oh, Puvacad fouled on a three point shot in the corner. And that shot almost went in, Will. Yes, it did. How hype would that have been for the Hopkins and Hill issue? That would have really got them going. Yes, it would have, Will. And Puvacad's going to be shooting three shots at the line, minute nine to go in the half. Both teams in the bonus now. And Puvacad's first. No good. Puvica, usually a very consistent free throw shooter. No worries, because he's got two more at the line. And his second shot. No good. Puvica not having his day at the line. This is in the same spot. Hopefully he can figure it out. I agree. Free throws will come up big in this game for the Hellers. His third shot's up, and no good. McLinn rips the rebound down. So Sitsky thought about shooting it, stumbled, didn't want it. Great hustle play by uh, McLinn there, who has the ball now on the wing. Ah, uh, tries to get it to the middle to Drew Rankatori, but couldn't. John LaRose brings it up, out to her. And the three-pointer by Reisfelder's good. Brings the Blackhawks within one. Puvikad brings up the ball. Puvikad crosses over to Sasitsky. Sasitsky drives. He's going all the way. Can't get it to go. LaRose on the floor. I'm not sure why there. I think he wanted to get a charge, so he just fell over. And the Blackhawks look for another three-pointer. Can't get it. Macklin with a rebound. Another great rebound by Macklin. Time out here for the Hillers as Macklin was trapped in the corner. Couldn't uh, his view is blocked. He came off this bench and he has really grabbed the rebounds, which has been helping the Hillers. Yes, it has. Hustle plays tonight, Will. Hustle plays. Hustle plays and easy baskets. That will win you the games. Those will win you the games. Hiller's band at it again. There's the tuba action in the back there. One of my favorite instruments it is, Will. One of my favorite instruments. Mine is the drums. The drums. What's your favorite part about the drums, Will? The sound or just the... Everything. The way it's done. Everything about the drums. You heard it here first. Will Puella loves the drums. If you're getting him a birthday gift, get him a nice set of drums. Hillers taking back the floor. Up by one. 18.7 seconds left in the half. Hillers ball on the far end. Let's see what they can do here. And easy for McKenzie to grab the ball. He's going to bring it up. He's alone. And Ben McKenzie, one-on-one -on -one with a defender, can be dangerous. Ben McKenzie wants it. He takes it to the rack. Great pass. Oh, no. Ben McKenzie throws a great pass to Sasitsky, but in the process, runs in to Blackhawks player, and they called the charge. The Blackhawks will be looking for the last shot. They really are. That was a great hustle play by the Blackhawks. And you got LaRose going long, but he doesn't get it. Ben McKenzie defending. And Philip Jones going to put it up. No good. Couldn't get it. And that's the half, folks. Wow. Roller coaster half for the Hillers. Out come the Hillers cheerleaders. Quite the roller coaster half. Well, the Hillers. Um, having some difficulty getting up in the energy. Yep. They had came. Good, had good parts where they played well, other parts not too well. That's right. Some of the hustle plays and energy are just in and out tonight for the Hillers. Whereas the Blackhawks are bringing it the whole game, playing physical and with energy. Um, hopefully the Hillers will come out second half bringing the energy, bringing the hustle, making these baskets. And as the Hillers cheerleaders perform, we are going to take a break, and we will see you 
at the start of the second half. Why are you yelling in that? All right, so I am here oh, now live with Denise and Taki. Put your headphones back on. You can talk to me. We're going double duty here. Hurry up. Hurry up. We're live on TV. Everyone's watching. Oh, God. Right. So, Denise, you're running the marathon. I am. You are? I will wow. try to run the marathon. Right, you're going to try to run the marathon. Why are you running the marathon? 
um, to raise monies for the class of 2018, the graduating 2018, class. 2018, this, this, this class. This graduating class. Okay. And so how do you, how do you go about doing this? What, what do you do? Um, I'm training. Um, yep. I put out a bid for the... Uh, for the uh, bib, so, that they so the get class, from the, the class board got a bib from the board of select bid, yeah, because they give the the BA gives the town like fifty bibs, yeah, and they go out to the charitable, out. and they go to all the charities. So one of the charities is the twenty eighteen, and you put in a bid for it. How much money are you going to raise? Uh, I'm going to try to raise five thousand five hundred. Five thousand five hundred. How can people help you raise this money? Um, going to GoFundMe, yep. Hellers uh, dash class of. 2018. All right, so GoFundMe page, type in Hill is class of 2018, yep. and sponsor. Give Denise some money. She's going to run 26.2, <laughs> and uh, you're out there training today, right? I was out there today before the rain came. So Before the rain came. I heard you had to do some laps around the flagpole, too. For the <laughs> I did. What was up with that? <laughs> with my shirt on. With your shirt I'll show on, you yeah. My shirt. Well, I'll, we should have so the you shirt see me ready. running in orange, that's me. That's her. I don't want to so, get hit. <laughs> yeah, do not run. Do, don't do not run to these over. She has to be ready in April, okay? Right. <laughs> so <laughs> Try to get to April. Well, listen, that's I wish you, wish you the best of luck. Thank I you. I think you're going to do fine, and I hope you l raise... Exceed your goal. Oh, good. Thank you. Right. So that's the GoFundMe. Hellers. Hellers Class of 2018. Yes. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. Yep. Thank you. We are back, getting ready for the second half. And remember, support the class of 2018. Support Denise Antaki. Go to the GoFundMe page for the class and support the class of 2018. And here we go. Well, Hillers coming back out for the second half. Let's hope that they can get it done. Let's hope. He was going to be starting for the Hillers. Mackenzie, Ambersoni, Sasitsky, and Puvakad, and Brendan Kelly. It will be Hillers' ball. And Brusoni inbounding. And Mackenzie with the cut. Kelly's the screen. And inbound to Sasitsky. Back to Ambersoni. Ambersoni, crossover down to Sasitsky. Puts it up. A nice reverse. Oh. No good. 
Nice little, speed there. Little too much English on it, and it spun out. Great play, though, by the Hillers. Screen from Jones for Jones. Great D by Pooh. And they leave him open. Nothing. It's Phillip Jones with the pull-up. It's good. He's been a big help for Bellingham tonight as their best player out with a foot injury. Throws it up to Kelly. Puts it up and not in. Out of, almost out of bounds. Nice save there by Jones. Indeed it was. Chaponi kicks to Jones. Jones is going to dribble it up top. Kicks to Chaponi. And he's going to look for it. Kicks to LaRose up top. Nothing for him. Back to Jones. Another pull up. No good. Jones with the putback. And the Hillers are really having a tough time getting up and at him here. McKenzie takes it to the rack. And a, fa a charge called on Ben McKenzie. Chaponi takes the charge. A very questionable call there. Looked like McKenzie was being fouled himself. And he fell down because he was getting hit from every which way. Bellingham bringing up the ball. They do have a lot of momentum here. Jones to Jones. Jones takes it in to LaRose who has a little jumper and rebounded by Ambersoni. Caught in the corner, throws it to McKenzie. McKenzie is there. He's gonna take it in and he's gonna put it up and not gonna be able to find in Kelly and one. Nice strong rebound there by Kelly. Great patience by Brendan Kelly. Great patience, able to collect the rebound, fight off the Bellingham defenders, put it up with control. Michael Ionelli comes in for Ben McKenzie. Ryan Kessler comes in for Michael Puvikov. As Kelly looks to tie the game. Hopefully he can, not gonna jinx him this time. The shot's up, and it's down. Brendan Kelly hits the free throw, ties it up at 32 here. Over to Chaponi on the sideline. Sasitsky comes in for the double. Sasitsky hustling back on D. Jones in the corner. Three balls up. No good. Long. Sasitsky's got the rebound. Sasitsky's going to take it middle. And he's going past the Kelly. Kelly can't put it in, but he gets his own rebound. Kicks it out to Michael Ionelli. Michael Ionelli tries to get it down to Sasitsky, but he travels in the process. Costly turnover there by the Hillers as uh, Brendan Kelly comes down with a huge rebound. Uh, yeah, it great. That was a great idea by Anelli, but he just couldn't make the pass there. Trapped in the corner. Bellingham swings it out to Jones. Jones out to La Rose, but Ambersoni tipped it and he can't make the save to keep it in bounds. But he did push the Bellingham Blackhawks back to back court and the referees talking at center court little shot clock issue shot clock apparently wasn't running when it should have been second technical difficulty here that's right and really just giving, giving the players some time to rest here hopefully the Hillers can come back right now and bring some high energy, high intensity basketball. The way Hiller basketball is played. And there you go, shot clock still stuck at 30, trying to figure out what it should be going down to. And we'll see well, what they put it at. And it's down to 29. And I don't know if they're gonna leave it there. I hope not. And I think they're trying to figure it out. Giving the players a little bit time to talk with their coach. Coach Keen of the Hopkinton Hillers. Been here and the shot clock's back to 30, Will. Not sure what's going on. Bringing the two coaches together to discuss. Coach Keen has to be a little frustrated if they're gonna keep it at 30 because it shouldn't be at 30. It should be less than 30. Big break there by the Hawks. And that's right. Lucky for the Hawks. 
Maybe it's lucky for the Hillers. Gives them a chance to play more defense. Defense will leads to offense. And great defense by the Hillers. The ball movement, though, by the Blackhawks is just superior. And they hit Reisfelder in the corner with a three as Ambersoni kicks to Ionelli. Ionelli drives. Ionelli bounce pass to Sasitsky. Sasitsky drives baseline. And this season, baseline has been Sasitsky's peanut butter and jelly as Ryan Kessler shoots a three, but it comes up short. He shot a couple. Jones, the screen for Jones. Jones to Chaponi. Chaponi down to Reisfelder. Reisfelder can't handle a pass. That's going to be a turnover. Hiller's ball. Well, Hiller's only down by three. Very close game all the way through so far. Zambersoni brings the ball up. Kicks to Brendan Kelly. Sasitsky on the wing. Three-point shot's up, and it's in. I've been telling him to shoot that three, and there it is, Will. Yep, had a wide-open look and buried it. Sasitsky getting a little bit, ties the game there. Getting a little bit of momentum here for the Hillers as Jones is pushing Ionelli off of him. The refs don't care about it. Not a big deal as Jones trucks to the rack. Brendan Kelly rips down the rebound. And Chaponi tried to rip the ball from Brendan Kelly, but I'll tell you that's an impossible task. Ryan Kester keeps it going. Another three-pointer in the corner. Wide open. Finally, it down. finally Kester's probably happy he finally got a hit. Ryan Kester takes a charge for the Hillers. The momentum will is on our side. Let's see if we can keep it going here. Kester follows up that big basket with a huge defensive play. Huge hustle play, huge defensive play. Great, he hits the three on the offensive end and takes a charge on the defensive end. Creating a spark here for the Hillers. That's right, let's see if they can keep it up. Gives it to Kester on the wing, down to Sasitsky. Defended tightly, couldn't get that pass, hand, he couldn't handle that pass, but it was tipped out by Reisfelder. So it will be Hiller's ball underneath. Sasitsky inbounds it to the corner to Kelly. Kelly takes it out to Kester. Kester bounced off his face, it looked like, to Kelly. Kelly takes it down, kicks it to Ionelli. Out to Ambersoni, eight seconds on the shot clock. Ambersoni takes it in. Kester in the corner. Can he get another one? No. Ball is tipped. Ionelli hustles it down on the ground. Hustle play by Ionelli. Hustle play by Brendan Kelly. Hustle play by Ionelli again. Great sequence there by Ionelli. And Ambersoni can't put it in. But I thought Kelly was going to come up with that rebound. That was a bit chaotic there. Laying out for the ball. Kelly and Ionelli both laying out for that one. And I'll tell you, Michael Ionelli laying out for the ball is not a stranger to Michael Ionelli. As he D's up Jones in the corner. Jones swings to Chaponi. The three-pointer for Chaponi is good. So he's Chaponi wide open. Chaponi. Uh, the Blackhawks have been shooting very well tonight from behind the arc. Oh, Amber Sony slips, keeps the dribble. What a play there. Michael Ionelli, a little floater in the lane, can't get it. Great take. Just did not fall. To Jones, a shooter for the Blackhawks. Missed it. Got his own rebound. Kick to LaRose. LaRose, not the best shooter. They do not want to keep Jones open. To Sasitsky on the wing. He wants another one. Says no. Gets Great. his own rebound. Puts it up, and he's fouled. Sasitsky. Great play there. Put on the up fake, went by his defender. Um, and I believe it was number 30 on Bellingham, Jacob Bassett, attempted to take a charge. And even if you don't get the charge, Will, it does throw you off. Yes, it does. And here's Sasitsky, Sasitsky at the off. line. Ah, Sasitsky missed the first. Uncommon for him to miss free throws. Very focused, very focused player, very consistent player, especially at the line. See if he can hit his second. Last dribble there. Ball's up and in. So Sitsky hits the second. Hillers are up and someone's got to get back. There, there you see Sitsky running back. Jurankatori. 
Oh no. A foul called on Steven Mafiori. Rather, conf everyone seems a little bit confused on that one, Will. I don't know what game they were watching there, but a very questionable call by the referee. As it will be a foul picked up on Mafiori. Mafiori, an aggressive player, a sophomore for the Hoosh. Sasitsky defending Jones. Jones is going to drive in, pull back. Down to Reisfelder, a fadeaway shot over McKenzie is no good. Great defense by Ben. Ben, the Mafiori in the corner, has nothing. Back out to McKenzie, but it's stolen by Jones. Jones, a little spin move. Puts it in. Now that's a hard move to pull in transition like that. But Phillip nice Jones got it done. And Mersoni brings it up. Looks like they're almost in a 2-3 zone. But it shifts a little bit here. They're playing high up. Sasitsky back to Ben McKenzie. Ben's going to take it to the rack. Foul called. And number 30, Jacob Bassett. And here you see again, Will, these shifts in momentum are crazy. Just keeps going back and forth. Hopefully, the Hillers can ride on a shift. Uh, can take one of their, take a shift of momentum and just ride that out to the end of the game. Is Jack Breslin tough three-point shot, and that's wet. Team brings in Breslin to hopefully spark this. Jack Breslin, unit. great three-point shot there. Backspin was supreme, and someone is going to have to fix that net because that was wet like water. A floater, high, high up. Rebounded by Rankatori. Pass to McKenzie. McKenzie's going to push. McKenzie, that's the second. Oh, Sasitsky, three ball. Good. Someone needs to fix the net. Sasitsky's got it. Another three ball. Sasitsky's defending Jones. Now, Sasitsky, he had quite the transformation of strength from his sophomore to junior year and even from his junior to senior year. Very focused and determined student as well as an athlete. Ambersoni defending Chaponi. Little rhyme action there. Great D. Oh! Great defense by Ben McKenzie. Puts his hand on the ball and a foul was called. Well, I'm not sure about that one. Maybe because Ben reached in, but his hand did seem to be on the ball as Bassett shoots two here. With 40.3 seconds left to go, Bassett nearly airballs the free throw. As it tips off the front of the rim. Um, yep, four fouls for the Blackhawks, three for the Hillers. 45, 40 Hillers. And again, 40.3 seconds left here in the third. Bassett's second free throw is up and in. Josh Jones coming in for Bassett. Hiller's inbound. Ambersoni having some trouble. Gets it to Ionelli. Ionelli over to Breslin. Breslin, long pass to Ambersoni. Beautiful pass. Ambersoni takes it in and is fouled. Great pass by Breslin there. Great, great vision. Drive. And yeah, great drive by Ambersoni. Couldn't finish, but he got the foul. He'll be shooting too. Here go the Hillers. Ambersoni shooting too, wiping his hand on the pants. And good thing he did, because he hits the first. 32.7 left now in the third is Ambertoni. Hillers need to make their free throws. Yeah, they do. That's going to be... This game looks like it's going to come down to the wire. Unless the Hillers can get some basket. And a turnover for the Hillers. And Michael Ainelli comes up with it, puts it in. Nice steal by Ambertoni. And... Breslin's lost by his defender. It looked like he slipped a little bit on the floor. As a couple players, you saw Ambersoni and uh, McKenzie slip. Good thing they kept their dribble, though, huh, Will? That takes some coordination and some talent there. Back to Jones up top. Jones, crazy pass, somehow gets to his teammate. Chaponi in the corner, fadeaway shot at the buzzer, no good, and that's the end of the third. 49-41 Hillis. And here we go to class of 2019 president Alex Wojcik. Proceeds the go to support the class of 2019 50 /50 or class events. 
Uh, and we're at every varsity basketball game. So, every game. Chris, take it away. Chris you got the winning ticket? All right. The winning ticket. The number 802-3910. Epstein. Congratulations, Mr. Epstein. Uh, just meet us over at that table to claim your earnings. Thank you very much. Mr. Epstein comes up with the winnings. Great front fundraiser by the class of 2019. It is, and that would be our class, Will. Yes, it is. Hopefully, we're making some money for a nice prom. Hopefully. You, you excited for prom, Will? Super. I sure am. This has been quite the basketball game so far. Uh, swings of momentum have been the name of the game. And the Hillers getting ready to take the floor. We have eight minutes of basketball left to play, Will. Let's see if the Hillers can take dominance and win this game. I'd love to see it. I don't know about you, but I'd love to see it. Yep, key game here by the Hillers. And here we go. Blackhawks inbound to Jones. Jones to Jones. Jones looked like it might have been a travel, but the refs don't want to call it. Pony kicks the, uh, sorry, Ricefelder kicks the Jones up top. Jones to LaRose. LaRose tries to drive. Breslin takes a spill there. And Ricefelder no good with the three. Breslin frog lug that rebound. Sasitsky another one. Oh, Sasitsky with an air ball. Way off the mark there. Not sure what happened there. Looked like he didn't get enough time to set, set himself and he just didn't get the line right. Jones has it up top. Jones to Jones. Jones, three-point shot's good. Jones has been, Philip Jones, has been a big part of this game tonight. The Jones-Jones connection is really helping the Hawks. Uh, Philip Jones' younger brother, I am assuming. Maybe not. Maybe it's just a coincidence of Josh Jones to Ambersoni in the corner. Ambersoni does not shoot that many threes, but I'll tell you, he can. Speaking of shooting threes, Jack Breslin hits another one. He is having quite the game tonight, offensively and defensively. Breslin taking advantage of his minutes. He's a loud player, he's an energetic player, and he's a good, good player. Coach Keene didn't really know him as a player when he came here from St. John's. And great defense by Drew Ancatori. Um, yeah, he didn't really know um, as Deloya, Kelly, and McKenzie come in the game. Ambersoni, Ionelli, and Sasitsky coming out. Um, Coach Keen didn't really know Breslin as a player. He didn't see too many minutes, but it looks like Coach Keen's starting to get to know him pretty well. They got lucky with Breslin leaving. That's for sure. Uh, Jones up top now, Phillip Jones to Josh Jones, Josh Jones three, whoa! I thought that was way long, but he splashed it at the end of the shot clock. Six, ten left to go in the fourth. Kenzie to Deloya, Deloya tries to drive, fumbles it a little bit. Deloya to, uh, McKenzie out to Deloya, Deloya wants something, but he's got nothing. Ball's been moving between McKenzie, a tough three-point shot, no good. Brendan Kelly tried to fight for that one, and he almost came up with it. Jones pushing the ball up the floor to the rack. It's good. Another swing of momentum. Uh-oh. That's not good for the Hawks. Jones but it has been could, one of their best players all night. Could be beneficial for the Hillers. Jones immediately walking off the floor. Looks like a leg or ankle injury. Or it could be a calf injury, though. Holding the back of his leg there. We'll find out. Shortly. Looks like it might be a calf injury. Hopefully he's okay. Hate Hillers to see. Trainer over there, checking him out. And we're gonna use this as a timeout for the Hillers. 42, 52. Sorry, 49 Hillers. 5:34 left to go in the game. And injuries. You just hate to see them. We've seen a lot at the beginning of this season with our Hopkins and Hillers. Amber Sony suffered. Uh, bad, uh, sorry, Leone suffered a bad concussion. Um, and the Hillers band back at it again. I was talking and that, that they just came right into my ears, Will. 
Yep. I, I couldn't even finish my sentence. They look for every opportunity to play. Hopefully it gets the Hellers hyped up. I know it gets me hyped up. Definitely gets me hyped up. Taught really well by Craig Hay. Craig Hay. You know, I never had him as a teacher, but I hear he's quite the man. He is. And there's the buzzer coming back to the court now. Let's see if Jones, it looks like Jones is going to stay out for a little bit. Looks like he's going to stretch. And, yep, that would be a calf injury, Will. Stretching his calf over there. Yep. Hopefully it's nothing serious. Looks like he just tightened up. Hopefully it's not a polar strain. Those will get you, Will. Those will get you. It's going to be Hiller's ball on our end. Hiller's end. Ben McKenzie. This is a – I love this play. Deloya with the inbound. Back to Deloya, and they're going to look for – they didn't get it that time. They got it – Breslin down to McKenzie. Uh, sorry, down to Kelly. But McKenzie has it up top. He's going to cross over to Breslin in the corner. Breslin's going to go. Swings to Deloya. Deloya drives. Out to McKenzie. McKenzie's going to a little pull-up fade. It's good. Ben McKenzie, such a talented player. Clutch shot at the end of the shot clock there. Drew Rancatori trying to defend ball here. Does a great job. Not letting him get to the basket. Chaponi gets a screen by Reisfelder. Looks down to him, but Deloya is fronting him. It's some great defense by Luke Deloya in the post. Luke Deloya, not usually... Luke Deloya is a little foreign. Great defense. Great defense by Deloya and Brendan Kelly. Deloya does a great job of fronting his man. And they threw it over him, and Brendan Kelly came down and helped. Forced a turnover. Deloya is now replaced by Amber Sony. Amber Sony, talented sophomore. Very talented sophomore. Has a vision for the game, Will. Ben McKenzie tries to drive it in, but he's blocked. Brendan Kelly almost recovers it. But Josh Jones has got it. He passes over to Chaponi. He's going to bring up the ball. Chiapone. And a foul on McKenzie. Justin Creighton will uh, got fouled there. Both teams are up. Oh, Bellingham's at five fouls. Hopkinton's at four. Kubikad comes in for McKenzie. Swing to Reisfelder in the corner. Dribbles out to the wing. Gives it to Chiapone up top. Back to Reisfelder in the corner. Pull up in the short corner. Tough shot, no good. Brendan Kelly rips down the rebound. That will be a foul on number 10, Justin Creighton. Nice strong rebound there by Kelly. Hillers are definitely rebounding the ball better in the second half. That's for sure. Um, now Brendan Kelly made a great transition from playing as more of a forward on the wings with such a tall team the Hillers had last year to one of the sole big men as they try to get the ball to Breslin there, running screens for him. sitsky has got it in the corner. He's going baseline. Oh! I was getting ready to yell in one well, but I didn't have it. The ball didn't want to fall. The ball has been rather mean to Sosetsky tonight. Not necessarily on his jump shots, but especially on his layups, Will. The layups have been hurting him. And his first free throw is nice. Nice and cozy. Falls right into the right into the cup. And he's got one more. Hiller's in the bonus now. Puts a little English on it. Welcome to Great Britain, because that ball had English. And Sasitsky comes clutch, hits both free throws at the line. Jones. Jones back in the game. Sorry, interrupted you there. He's doubled, makes a rough pass to Jones. Back to Jones, a rose in the corner, not known for his shooting, but he's going to pop the tray. Jones. One Bellingham rather right back excited. On, on the court. Now Jones seems to be, he's great at handling the ball in motion. Comes down, moving it all over the place, and the Hiller's band. There we go, again. Dun, 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 dun. Ben Wheeler waits for nobody. <laughs> that's, that's right, Will. And Tim Fargiano. 
Oh, we got our athletic director, D. King, in the building. D. King in the building. D. King has done a lot for the Hillers. For our, not just the Hillers, but um, not just the Hillers basketball program, but for all programs. D. King has gotten it done. She has a great athletic director in her second year. Here we see some of the fans of the Hopkins and Hillers. I believe. Yep, there they are. The Hopkins and Hillers Army. And got some fans waving. Mrs. McKenzie. Ben McKenzie's father. Along, oh, and there are the Keen kids. Along with Mrs. Keen. And there's Liv Spar up there, Hawkinson alumni. And back to the action, Will. 3.38 left in the game. Hillers lead only by four. 56-52. Hillers are in the bonus. That could help them out as Amber Sony looks to swing the Pubicod, but no one's there. Dead. Sings, swings it to Sasitsky. Sasitsky to Pubicod. Pubicod uses the screen from Kelly. Back to bounce pass to Kelly. And Kelly powers down. She a pony. She a pony fell back like it was a charge, but little did he know, Brendan Kelly is a beast. She a pony versus Kelly. Brendan would destroy She a pony any day of the week. Yes, he would. Big kid. Very large man. Although he did pick up a foul as She a pony came down the court. Jones inbounds to Chiapone up top, Puvacod guarding. Chiapone and another foul called on the Hellers. Mike Ionelli looks like he's about to be coming in for Puvacod. Puvacod, this is only his second or third game back for the Hellers. Comes out, can't afford any fouls here as the Blackhawks are one away from the bonus. Jones inbounding out to La Rose. La Rose looking for it. Ambersoni defending over to Chiapone, over to Jones. Jones looking for something. Gives it back to Chiapone. Chiapone goes to La Rose. Shoots the three ball, and it's good. The only shots La Rose, the only three point shots La Rose has taken, have, has taken and have gone in. Stumbling a little bit with my words is Ambersoni. Puts on the moves and LaRose gets a little bit mad and fouls him. I'll tell you, I played with that kid against that kid and he's not, he's a bit of a hothead. LaRose, John LaRose. And this is where the bonus is gonna come up big for the Hillers. They're going, going to have to capitalize as Ambersoni shoots his first free throw. It's good, he's gonna have one more. Free throw as well. Be a big part in this game. Yes, they will. And Amber Sony, who else would you rather have at the line than this kid? Sophomore, great poise, great talent. As he hits his second free throw, Hillers are throws. up. That's for sure. Hillers are up. Sasitsky out of bounds. Sorry, not Sasitsky. Ionelli, senior leader. This kid makes the plays. Will. Yes, he does. Great defense. Great defense. Makes them in football, makes them in basketball. The refs are swiping their feet on the rug over there, making sure it's not too slippy. A lot of players have slipped tonight. And Ben McKenzie inbounding into Ionelli. Guarded by Ciappone. Ionelli brings it down, and Ciappone tips it out of his hands. That will be a turnover for him, and it will be Blackhawks balls. Jones has it guarded by Ionelli. Great defense. A Rose wants another one. And when you get a hand in his face, he doesn't do anything special. Proven here by Ben McKenzie. Amber Sony has it at uh, midcourt. Putting on the moves. Loses it a little bit. Keeps it. A little Euro step. Tried to put Sasitsky with the rebound. Nothing is called there, surprisingly. Ripped down a great read, and it looked like uh, Sasitsky was going to get great. And a charge is called on Chia Pony. He's not happy about that one. And he's a little bit salty. 
Hoping he doesn't cry. He might. And I think we'll be fine. And Ben McKenzie's going to take it out. Only a five-point game with one minute and 51 seconds left to go. Ambersonian got to do something with it. Throw it up to Brendan Kelly. Oh, great handles by Kester in the corner. Great choice by Kester. Almost had the shot, but realized defenders were closing in on him. McKenzie takes it to the basket. No foul gets stripped, there. and yeah, no foul there. Great defense and a late call by the ref. It looked like there. Ambersoni jumps up with his hands straight up. And the ref says he's coming down, but I did not see any of that. Calls are not falling the hill's way. No, they are not. And it looks like Jones will be shooting two here. Again, close game. Let's see if Jones can do anything about it. Yes, he can. Makes it a little bit closer. Four-point game, 131 to go. Both teams now are in the bonus. Hillers is one away from the double bonus. One more foul, and they're there. Jones, ball behind his head. Brings it right up, and he hits the second. Kind rolls for Jones as he brings the game within three. Kester inbound to Ambersoni. Ambersoni caught, and a foul is called on Philip Jones, the junior from Bellingham, and Ambersoni. Again, a consistent shooter at the line. Hopefully he can get it done. He will be shooting too. Hillers are in the bonus. Double bonus, sorry. And Ambersoni has the ball. Looks like it will be a free throw battle for the next minute. And shot is up. And no good. Ambersoni misses his first free throw. Rare miss there by Ambersoni. That's for sure, Will. He's got one more, though. Do not fear. Tom Ambersoni is here with the missed free throw. Ambersoni misses both. Very surprising. Jones almost falling out of bounds. Two like costly misses there by Ambersoni. Jones to Jones to Chaponi in the corner. Chaponi the three ball. No good. Ben McKenzie with a strong rebound. Chaponi guarding. Ben McKenzie getting caught up. Lob past it. Oh, they had a man down. They didn't want it. Ambersoni fouled again. Bellingham coach. On not, his knees. Not happy about that one. He's on his knees. He's slamming the ground. He's getting mad at his players for some stupid fouls. Ambersoni has a chance to redeem himself. Another two at the line. First one's up. And no good. Missed his first two long. This is first one on this set short. He's got one more coming. Let's Definitely in his head now. Let's see if he can find the sweet spot. There. Oh. No. Does not fall. Doesn't fall. Missed first two long, second two short. Amber Sodi going to Chiapone. The Rose had it in the corner. Picked up his dribble there. 50, Jones holds it up top with about 45 to go here in the game. Three-point game, 60-57. Picks up his dribble, kicks it out to Jones. Jones, a pull-up. Tough shot, and he hits it. Timeout called here. Timeout called right away by the Bellingham coach. Phillip Jones, Will, has been going off this game. Junior guard, 5'11". He's been hitting tough shots in our faces. And here comes the Hiller band again. Trying to pump up this crowd. Um, yep, that's for sure, Will. Hopefully the Hillers are listening. Hopefully this grand, this grand band, this grand music will motivate them to overcome the Bellingham. Hopefully. Work some football. Hopefully it'll work in basketball. That's for sure. Football had a great season. A lot of guys on this basketball team contributed to that. Luke DeLoya, along with Michael Antonelli, he was a captain for them. Brennan Kelly also. Uh, yeah, those three played football. 
fell short to a tough Melrose team. And they definitely could have won that one, though. I believed in them. Yes, they could have. And the band doesn't lie, Will. It is the final countdown. It is. We got 38.2 left here in the game. Hillers are only up by one. Great song choice there by Wheeler. Yes, indeed. Hillers getting ready to take the court. Wow. She's going to come down to it. No doubt about it. It's going to be Hiller's ball. Jack Breslin. Jack, Johnny, John Breslin is in the game. Known by Jerry. Not sure how that came about. I'm going to go with Jack, though. Jack, Tommy Ambersoni brings it up with ease. Loses it. And Josh Jones, the senior, passes to Philip Jones. 25, 20, oh, wow, 20 seconds left here. They still have a shot clock, and they're going to call timeout, and the shot clock won't matter. 19.5 seconds left. Michael Pubicod getting his team hyped, giving those crisp high fives. Is the band going to come out again? Ah, uh, yes, they are. Here they come. It is still the final countdown. Looks like they picked up where they left off. That's hard to do. Like I said, taught well. That's for sure. Hillers. Hillers are scheming up something in that timeout, Coach Keen. And there's, look at that tuba, Will. Look at that tuba. It's a beauty. It's a beautiful instrument, isn't it? Little French horn action. You got the saxophones up front. Amazing performance here by the Hiller band tonight. Always much appreciated. The buzzer has sounded. And we're coming down to it in this very intense game of basketball. Looks like it will come down to the final shot. I, I agree. Hopefully the Hillers can get a stop and a rebound or a stop and end the game. We'll see what's going to happen. There are endless possibilities. Hillers have some of their best defenders in the game. Zach Sasitsky, Brendan Kelly, especially Michael Ainelli and Luke DeLoya. And of course, Ben McKenzie. They give it to Jones, and they give it back to Jones. Hillers are up, they're getting excited. Chiapone's got it up top. 10 seconds left, trapped in the corner, DeLoya! And the referee got in the way. Chiapone was doubled in the corner. That could be costly if they knock down a shot. Chiapone doubled in the corner. DeLoya nearly got the ball. Referee looked like he got in the way a little bit. I think it would have been out of bounds anyway, but you never know. Michael Lionelli defending the inbound pass. They can't get it in. Timeout called. 7.5 seconds left. Great defense by the Hillers. Great defense by the Hillers. Both teams have a chance here, Will. Watch for Jones or Chaponi to take the shot. They've been their best scorers all game. And here comes the band again. Getting me excited. Adding the suspense. To this every wonderful time game. we touch, I get the feeling that the Hellers can win this game. Not going to jinx it. Knock on wood here. I'm really hoping the Hillers can pull this one off. There's 81 seconds left. That's not right. I think it should say 8.1 seconds left. I agree. Lots of technical difficulties tonight, huh, Will? Yeah. I'm not can't sure. get the scoreboard right. Can't get the shot clock right, and now they can't get the time right. Not sure why they can't figure it out. There we go. Back to 8.1. Hillers come out. Michael Ionelli is excited. That's one kid who loves playing defense. Let's see if they can get it done here. 8.1 seconds for the Hillers. Deloya jumping up and down. Doesn't want that ball coming in. Hillers on their feet. Chiapone throws it down in the corner. Oh, no. Three-point shots up. No good. Brendan Kelly Rebound. tips it. A foul, foul called. Oh, my gosh. And the Bellingham JV team loves it. 
That's one thing you hate to see. You hate to see that. 1.9 seconds left. As Reisfelder will have two. Junior, tries. Michael Reisfelder forward. And they're going to call a timeout here. This is intense. He can either. He has a chance to win the game, he has a chance to tie the game, and he has a chance to fail his whole team and lose the game. He could be the he hometown hero or not. I'm hoping not, Will. The band is still going at it. And Will, I'm hoping that he just lets down his whole entire team and misses both these free throws here. Me too. This, you have to, you hate to say it, but this is where those free throws that the Hillers miss would have came in handy. Yep. Free throws earlier in the game would have helped. That's for sure. And let's see what this is crazy, Will. Let's see what happens here. Hopefully, the Hillers can get it done. It's going to be a tough one for the Hillers now. That foul, that last foul, I believe, was called on the lawyer. Didn't even see him near the play. And you got the big boys, Sitsky and Kelly, down low in case he misses the free throws. He's got two shots. Let's see what he's going to do. A lot of pressure on the junior. The Hillers crowd is getting excited. Misses the first free throw. The Hillers crowd is up on their feet, and they call a timeout. The junior for Bellingham misses the free throw. The student section is going crazy. All he can do now is tie the game, Will. I'll tell you, Will, if he misses this, I would be very excited. Still got to come down with that rebound. The worst thing that can happen now, Will, I don't even know. If he makes it, probably overtime. I can deal with that, and I think the Hillers can too. Hillers went to overtime the first game of the season against Allison. Could not pull it out. Fortunately, yeah, they couldn't pull it out. I'll tell you, well, that's going to be in his head. A junior player on varsity could be his first year. I'm not sure. I'm assuming it is. But that's going to be right in his brain, right in the front of his head. As we look at the fan Hiller, section fan for section. the Hillers. They're about to get loud, I hope. Because they're all waving. They know they're up there. There's, they know they're up there. And here it is, the Hillers fan section getting loud. Rice Felder has a second shot. It's good. It. And with 1.9 seconds left in the game. Big shot there. Bryce Felder hits it. And it looks like... Hillers will look for the buzzer beater. If they get it, that would be a heck of a miracle. Sasitsky wants to throw it long. Mafiori. Mafiori. No oh. good. We're going to overtime, Will. Yes, we are. High off the glass. Too much. Exciting game here. Not sure why fans are leaving. I guess they're just not true fans of the Hillers. Hate to see that. Bad time to leave. Majority of the crowd still here. Majority of the crowd still here. And last, last time the Hillers went to overtime, as you said, it was a close one, but they couldn't pull it out. Let's hope this time they bring the energy. They take control in overtime. We got four minutes on the clock. Let's hope the Hillers can dominate this OT against Bellingham. Hopefully. Wow. Great game by Bellingham. Came out shooting hot. Continue to shoot hot. Those missed free throws did come up Come back to bite the Hillers in the end. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. A 
On the court for the Hillers, Bubakad, Ambersoni, McKenzie, Kelly, and Sitsky. Thank you to all our fans tuning in to watch the game tonight. You picked a great one to watch. Brendan Kelly taking the tip against Jones. Brendan Kelly, the athlete. A little bit of a mix up there. Neither of them got it, but Bellingham came up with it. Jones to Chiapone. Chiapone trying to work it on Puvikad. He has a screen from Jones. He has literally nothing over there. Sasitsky almost comes up with a turnover. Tough three point shot, almost an air ball on the Blackhawks with another rebound. Rebounding has been killing the Hillers tonight. Rebounding and free throws, Will. Jones has it on the wing. Jones to Reisfelder. Tipped it, a little bobbling action there. Jones to Chiapone, Chiapone almost had a pull up shot, tough one, it's good. Hillers are gonna have to try to stop those. Tom Amershoni bringing up the ball. To McKenzie, a three point shot is no good. Zasitsky with the rebound. No call there, but it's Heller's ball. Zasitsky in a battle down low. Jones taking his time getting up. He's a big boy, huh, Will? He is. Aggressive player he is. Three, burned off a minute so far. Three minutes flat. Looks and like the cor court is a little wet. A little sweat on the floor maybe. These guys have been working hard. And the ref's wiping it up with his Reebok Zigtex. Haven't seen those in a while, huh? No. I thought those went out, uh, went out. But I guess they still sell them somewhere. They must. And here, oh, Puvacad. I thought he was inbounding it. He's out of the game, it looks like. McKenzie's inbounding it. Kessler comes in for Puvacad. Someone's got to come up. Far past the Sisitsky, and it's good. Sisitsky drives to the lane. A charge is called on Sisitsky. You can't argue with that one. Jones, the senior, takes a great charge. Momentum is in the hands of Bellingham. Let's see. The Hillers can get it back. The refs are still looking at that wet spot. Sasitsky's now wiping it up. Bellingham coach is squatting over there on the sideline. He has been into the game all game. So on his knees, so screaming. Is, so has Coach Keen, but he hasn't got to the ground as much. Oh. Ah! Sasitsky gets it, but he slips a little bit. Be nice if we could wipe the floor up. And turnover, uh, turnover to a turnover. Not bad for the Hillers. Killed the momentum there a little bit. That would have been big if they got it. The Rose has it up top. Small guy had to reach for that one. Chiapone is just crossing over up top. And McKenzie's about to get in his face and show him how to do it. Chiapone again over to Jones. Jones to the corner to Reisefelder. No good. Kesser with the rebound. It's foul on Chiapone. We're going the other way. Hailers will be shooting. Kesser's going to be shooting too. See if he can tie the game with his free throws here. Wow. Intense game. Intense basketball. Very interesting. Hillers really got to get their energy up. Hopefully, let's see what Kester can do with the free throw line. His first on the way. He's it's got good. it. Exciting moment for the Hillers. No doubt about that one. He's got one more. Tie up the game. On the way. It's yep. good. Ryan Kester trying to bring the momentum back to the Hillers. Two big free throws there mm -hmm. by Kester. Great press. Emersoni shifts over. Stops ball. Great defense. Philip Jones has it out. Far wing. Philip Jones looks like he is in no rush. No rush at all. There's the two minute mark. And we're under two here in, in the in overtime. 
Chelsea Clooney to, uh-oh. Jones, a deep three-point shot. It's good. Drills it. That's a tough shot to hit. And Bellingham is up. Ben McKenzie's got to watch out there. Ben McKenzie puts it up. No foul called. Ben McKenzie almost got it back. Oh. He jumps over the table. Nice the aggressive play there by McKenzie. The Hillers will are really having a tough time keeping the keeping Bellingham down, and they're having a tough time getting their offense going. Philip Jones and Chaponi have been leading this with Bellingham some, attack. They've been leading them with some tough shots and some deep threes, like that one that Jones just hit. Here comes the band. A goodie, an oldie, but a goodie. And it's not just the Hopkins Hillers that love it. It's everyone. I see the Bellingham side over here getting groovy to our Hillers band. Looks like we have Hopkinton alumni Eric Olafson on the drums. Can't make it out too clear, but I think that's him. It looks like him. He's a great drum player. There he is. That's him, no doubt about it. Wheeler is in the way, and that knew, is he him. knew it. Ben knew it. That's him, all right. Hopkinton alumni, Hopkinton legend in the band. And the buzzer has sounded once again. Another Hopkinton legend, Dick Bliss in the house. Um, I don't see him. Where is he? Score table. Oh, didn't even, didn't even see him. Led the Brendan. golf, led the oh. golf team to a. State championship this year. And I believe you were on that team, were you not? Yes, I was. Yes, he was. Congratulations on that, Will. Let's, Let's get, get back, back to the, the action. Ambersoni, a mishmash. He's got Jones. Jones down the Chia Pony. Jones has it on the wing. Surprised he didn't shoot that. Jones, another three. No good. Rebounded by Chia Pony and a foul on Ryan Kester. And that's just, that's just tough. That's, you just hate to see that. And again, the rebounds are costly for the Hillers. The rebounds, and, and let's see what Chia Pony can do here. That did not Whoa. look good. <laughs> Only if he was the one shooting those last free throws at the game, huh? And he hears it from the Hillers fan section. No doubt about it. Hillers are letting him know that he did, in fact, just airball a free throw. Made up for it. I don't know if he knew it was a free throw. Free shot at the line, no one's in your face, and he just whiffed that one. Four point game now. Probably a little bit upset about that. McKenzie's got it over to Kessler. Kessler's gotta be careful with it. Screen by Kelly. Oh, a bounce oh. pass into Kelly, he's nice fouled. Pass. Tight pass by Ben McKenzie there. Kelly will be at the line, shooting he two. He really weaved that in there. In between two defenders. Put it Impressive. in the perfect spot for Kelly to grab it. And Kelly obviously ripped it out from the defenders, and he's going to have two shots here. Oh, can't hit the first. Unfortunate. I'm sure the Hillers will be doing a lot of running and a lot of free throws in their next practice, no doubt. Brendan Kelly is second on the way. There it is, and Makes it's good. Second. Hillers down by three. One possession game. They double, lots they, of doubles on this press. They need a stop here. They really do. A turnover would be optimal for the Hillers. Sasitsky on ball, McKenzie on ball, playing quite the up, very uptight defense. McKenzie, very athletic. Now Kelly on Jones, bodying him up. Amber Sony, Sasitsky steps up. Timeout for Bellingham. With four seconds left on the shot clock. I don't know about you, Will, but I'm getting a little bit nervous here with 23.9 seconds left to go. Yep. I am too. Whew. Dun, 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 dun. Another Hillers Band dun. classic. As they look to amp up the crowd in overtime. Dun, 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 dun. Hillers band, they know what they're doing. 
They know what they're doing. That right there is how you stand when you're playing a saxophone. Yep. You didn't know. One heel up, keeping the tempo. I like it. That's how it's done. Pillar's band. And the Hillers coming back. 23.9 to go. I'll tell you, Will. I'd love to see a Hillers win here. I'd love to see the Hillers get a turnover. Bring the ball down the other end. And one. They need to stop here. Ben Four McKenzie. seconds left. And they try to throw it in. Sasitsky's guarding. Reisefelder takes it up. No good. Oh, my gosh. Tough shot. Didn't think that was going to fall. Ben McKenzie's taking it all the way. Basket, He's and got he it. it. And they're going to foul immediately. Smart play here. Three point game. Jones is going to the line. Intense still. Jones has a chance to separate it here and possibly close out the game with these two free throws. Now you don't know what could happen. If he hits one, there's still a chance to tie for the Hillers. You saw early in the game, Michael Pufikad got fouled on a three-point shot in the corner over here on this end. You never know what could happen. You can miss the second, bring it down, and end one three-pointer. And he makes the first. He makes the first. Making the score 69-65 with 7.5 seconds left to go in the game. And Hillers crowd not getting very loud and he misses the second picks it up to McKenzie, McKenzie nearly loses it puts up a wild three point shot and that's the game Bellingham Blackhawks come out on top Hillers lose in overtime against Bellingham 69-65 close game and that's the end of the action Thank you for tuning in. Be sure to make it here next Tuesday or tune in to HCAM for the boys and girls doubleheader. That will be against Ashland, girls at 5, boys at 6.30. And thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for tuning in. Have a wonderful night.